In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add or remove an iMessage email address on your iPhone and iPad. If you're keen on customizing your iMessage settings or simply need to streamline your email addresses linked to the service, you've come to the right place. This process is straightforward and can be completed in just a few minutes. To begin, make sure your device is powered on and navigate to your home screen. Now find your settings app, which usually looks like a gear. Tap on it to open your device's settings menu. Once you're in the settings, the next step is to scroll down until you find the option labeled apps. Go ahead and tap on apps and subsequently click on messages. This will take you directly to your messaging settings. Here you want to look for an option called send and receive. This is where all of your linked phone numbers and email addresses live. Under send and receive, you'll see a list of emails and phone numbers currently linked to iMessage. To add a new email address, look for a button that says add another email. Tap it and a new field will appear for you to enter the email address you want to add. Once you've typed in your email, hit next. Your device will prompt you to complete a verification process, which essentially ensures that the email address is valid and actually yours. Keep an eye on your inbox because Apple will send a confirmation email to the address you've entered. In this email, you'll find a verification link. Open this message from Apple and click the link to confirm your new addition. You're done. Your new email is now linked to iMessage. Now if you want to remove an email address from iMessage, maybe you've changed addresses or just wish to declutter, here's how you do it. Start by reopening your settings app, navigate again to apps, tap messages, and then enter send and receive. In this section you'll see the email addresses under a heading that reads you can receive iMessages to and reply from. To remove an email, simply uncheck the box next to the email you no longer wish to use. This will stop iMessages from being sent to or from that address. There's also the option to tap on your Apple ID email address at the top of the list. A menu will pop up where you can choose Sign Out. This will effectively remove the email from iMessage altogether. And there you have it. Whether you're adding or removing an email, managing iMessage on your iPhone or iPad is a breeze. Make sure to check your emails for confirmations and give yourself a moment to adjust these settings to your liking. Thanks for watching and I hope this guide has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tutorials.